Hey guys, and welcome to the Red Planet. I am here hitching a ride headed towards my spaceship to take me home. The only problem I have is that I need fraction power, and we are low. You see, my spaceship runs on fraction power, and in order to get the batteries full, I need to put in the right fractions to recharge the batteries. Let's charge the batteries with the fractions I have collected, and then I can go home. Here we are at the charging station. The first thing we need to do is review what is a fraction. You may remember from my other videos, but just in case you forgot, here we go. A fraction represents an equal part of a whole. Here we see two circles, but only one circle represents a fraction. Can you guess which one? If you guess the red circle on the left, you are right. To be a fraction, you must have all equal parts. The blue circle on the right is not divided equally, so it cannot be a fraction. We also need to review how a fraction is written. The fraction we see is 1 over 3, or 1 third. The top number is called the numerator, and the bottom number is called the denominator. The numerator is a part of the whole circle. The numerator is 1 because there is one yellow part of the whole circle. The denominator is the number on the bottom that shows all the parts in the entire circle. Because the entire circle is made of three parts, the denominator is 3. This fraction is 1 over 3, also called 1 third. Now that we have this out of the way, let's move on to recharge my spaceship. My batteries only take this type of fraction. This is what we call a unit fraction. Any fraction where the top number is 1 is called a unit fraction. In a unit fraction, it doesn't matter what number is the denominator. This is why we have the letter B here. The letter B can represent any number. All this is saying is 1 over any number represented by the letter B. So it could be 1 over 2, 1 over 3, 1 over 4. Well, you get the idea. Here is a rectangle that is divided into four parts. Can you tell me what the fraction is for just this part here? This is 1 over 4, or 1 fourth. We can see that each of these parts is 1 fourth of the entire rectangle. When you put it all together, they make one whole rectangle. The battery only gets charged when taking one part of the whole, or in this case, 1 fourth. Let's get another fraction. Here is a rectangle with five equal parts. To write the fraction, let's start with the denominator. What number should the denominator be? The denominator is five because there are a total of five parts of the whole. All five pieces together make one whole. Remember that my batteries get charged with unit fractions, which are just one part of the whole. So we have one over five or one fifth. Let's put this fraction in the charger and try another one. Here we have two circles. Let's see how many parts we have in each circle. On the left, the circle has how many equal parts? There are six equal parts to this circle, so the fraction we want is just one part of the six pieces. This fraction is 1 over 6, also called 1 sixth. Now let's look at the circle on the right. What is the fraction for just one piece of this circle? The fraction is 1 over 2, also called 1 half. The part we need is 1 half of the entire circle. Great job, guys. I am on my way home now. But wait, I noticed something. On the left, we have 1 sixth, and on the right, we have 1 half, but they are definitely different in size. It looks like you get more with 1 half than 1 sixth. This is good to know. As the denominator or number on the bottom gets bigger, the actual piece itself gets smaller. It is like sharing a pizza. When you eat it with one friend, you both get more than if you share it with six friends. Awesome job, my spaceship is now fully charged. Thanks for helping me charge the batteries with unit fractions. We will see you next time, goodbye. Okay guys, you have a few options here. You can click the video on my right or on my left to watch more awesome stuff. If you want to subscribe, click the big red subscribe button below. 
You might want to hurry and choose, though, because I can't hold on forever. Hurry, choose. Uh-oh. Uh -oh.